Hello everybody and you welcome to the Skyrim mod series with customizable camera made by Arendell. So this is pretty simple. This is a mod that you can use together with Sky UI. So whoops la, that you can simply go through the mod configuration menu, customizable camera, and check everything here. Change it around, whatever. So Obviously, you can change the camera settings that you can usually change in your any file of Skyrim. So, um, you see that is actually the standard um, camera, which is especially sucks for uh, Wood Elves boss mare because of the camera that is so high. So, let's check out what we can actually change here. We can change the camera for running around for in combat then for how the camera how close the camera can be to your character and how far it can be away you can change the zoom speed and the pitch down zoom is kind of special uh, so first off what I like to do is put that here on 0 or maybe on 10 10 is fine too uh, because it's just super annoying to look like half a kilometer beside of your character over the shoulder and wood elves are pretty small so that is something that you can use it for if you use uh, different races because they all have different haze, hates it's actually pretty nice to adjust the hate for them for example um, I changed it for this mod so I can show it uh, to you guys but mine is minus 10 by default actually which is uh, much better because I like to look actually in the face of my character and not like uh, you see if I put this on 10 yeah it's okay then it's so high that I can't see shit and that's pretty pretty damn annoying so minus 10 is fine and then everything is cool here. And I'm really not sure if I like to have the look a little bit beside of the character or actually really behind it. But let's check out the other settings. In combat is exactly the same, horizontal. You see I have it here on zero even. Um, vertical is a little bit higher so I can look over the shoulder. I think 20 is fine. And uh, the zoom, that means that it's a little bit further away if I go into combat. Camera is going a little bit more backwards. The minimum distance, uh, you see that you can leave this actually the standard stuff because it doesn't make much sense. Um, you can now have a pseudo first person view since that is actually third person but totally, uh, see? <laughs> Totally close to the character and you can, can zoom far, further away. Also, what you gotta keep in mind is we change the maximum distance, it's gonna change it around completely. So it's a, like a global value and not just a, a local value like, um, like, how do you say, it's like a span or so? And you have the zoom speed, <clears throat> that's pretty clear, but, um, oh wait, actually not, because I have this value actually completely different. The zoom speed is of course, how fast this is gonna happen. And what I like to have is, or actually let me show you the zoom increments first. The zoom increments is in um, how many steps it's going to zoom if you use the mouse wheel see that is one mouse wheel turn right now and if I put this lower on 0.1 I have much more single steps so that's what the increments are and what I like to have is the zoom speed at max so the increment is fine so that I have, uh, if I go into first person, 
that I'm in there immediately. I don't like to wait three hours until I actually can play again. And the zoom speed is 20 here. I actually have it in my INI even higher so that I don't even see the traveling. You see, especially if you look at the sides of the screen, you can see that it is still zooming in just really fast. But I like to have the zoom um, process actually not visible at all. The pitch down zoom is if you um, have the have it positive if you have it positive. You see, wait, I gotta turn this round uh, this way around. If I look down at the bottom, the camera is going up. You probably don't even notice that yet in the game. If I put this uh, value of minus, then it's actually zooming in. You see. Um, so that is. I can imagine that some people like to have it on zero, so they're really just turning the camera around their own character. And I actually have the feeling that I like that better as well, I, that I don't like the actual zoom in. And I think I keep it like that. And the camera in combat, yeah we talked about that already. So. Like I said, I like, I guess I'm putting that on zero because I like that a lot more. The vertical is fine. I'm gonna put that on 15 or so. And the zoom in could be actually a little bit further away. Just a little bit. So, the rest is okay. Gonna change the zoom speed for me. Would be cool if there would be a last option. Or maybe another hitbox uh, checkbox that says like uh, insta zoom in or so, and that value is actually really high in the ini then, like 1000 or so. I don't know which value I had, it's like an eternity ago, but um, I just like to have that. I don't like to have the travel process, it's annoying, in my opinion. Might be that uh, some people like it, they chill around or so. But usually I'm switching between first person and um, third person a lot, like really a lot. Like I would run it around here and sha la 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 la. And if it's getting too close, then uh, I will switch to first person and run around so I can see stuff. And if I have more space again, I go in third person. That's uh, some kind of a habit. Um, yeah, some people uh, were already annoyed by that on YouTube. I remember that when I made some gameplay videos that I'm always switching between it, but that's how I play. So hope you enjoy this mod, I think it's a nice addition to the actual game. Um, it's not big either, it has 4 kilobyte, so you all should be able to, uh, to handle that little plugin for SkyUI. It's actually anyways doing nothing I'm else right besides of editing your Skyrim ini and updating and it's updated in game immediately so you can change around in game. and. Uh, use your stuff. Um, also by the way what I why I also appreciate it when I'm recording armors I like to put that down to minus 60 or 70 depends and then I can zoom out and I have to wall yeah you know, 60 maybe 60 better 65 how to tell it really depends on how the armor is formed if the helmet is big or not or whatever and uh, then I can make a, a nice shot of the actual armor and zoom around and stuff. And I'm normally doing that every time in the ini, but with that mod now, I can do it every time in game. Don't have to change it around anymore. It's pretty nice. I like it. So, yeah, kudos and endorsements go to Omega 2008 or Arendelle. And I'll see you guys next time.